Thanks so much to Japan for the moment. Back in the studio, though, welcome Robert Smith. Right. Robert, now, you've had a very busy summer playing in front of millions of people, and you've come back and launched this album, Mixed Up, which is sort of like remixes and all that. What's all, what's all that about? Um, as you said, it's an album of remixes. Old stuff that's been remixed, new songs that have been remixed. Old songs that we've re-recorded. Is, is, is it a greatest hit, or was it you were too bored to do anything, or you're too tired, or...? Too bored, too tired. <laughs> Then I come to the Kill Bank every. No, it's just um, a lot of people, a lot of old Kill fans wanted to know how to get hold of their old Tory Twixes, so we thought we'd put them all together on an album. And when we started to think about what we could do with some of the older songs and what we could do with remixing them, it started making us think about doing a, a bigger sort of album. Yeah. So it's turned into like a double album with um, drunken party music, really. It's, it doesn't really sound like the Kill. In the background. We're going to hear a bit about later on. But what's it like, you know, being a band that was an indie band out there playing in front of hundreds of thousands of people? I mean, do you get, what, do you really over prepare yourselves or do you like it to be spontaneous on the stage? Um, we haven't really changed very much. It doesn't matter um, how many people we play to. We always play for ourselves on stage. And once it starts getting good, we look out and see how many people there. It's a bit like this. I mean, the whole thing's um, very weird. Even doing something like this, even though we're not um, doing anything at the moment, it's that whole idea of people being there. You're like, presenting yourself to them. You've got to have a reason for it. So you should, um, but yeah, it's as striking as anyone who's really worried about presenting yourself to people because you don't look like the big rock star with the fast cars and all that, but you must have all yeah, extremely, but it doesn't involve fast cars. What does it involve? It's the fast head. <laughs> but, I mean, you know, do, do you sort of, do you think that the cure are going to go on to be, become bigger or have you arrived at where you are? Um, I think we've got to the point that I, I never really thought we'd arrive at the point we're at at the moment. So it's, um, it's gratifying that we're able to play to so many people, but at the same time it's sort of worrying that we might be dissipating um, what's a very, I don't know, a concentrated thing. You talk about this song Never Enough being a slice of pure cure in one of your bios, I'm sure you didn't say it, but what is a slice of pure cure? I mean, how can you define it? What, the glib answer, like, it's never enough? No, no glib, no glib. Uh, I, I, I don't think I ever said that. There is no such thing as a slice of pure cure. I mean, there's no such thing as pure cure anyway. With the very, very notions that it's absurd. Um, never enough just us being frustrated about um, machine music, I suppose. So we tried for four days to do an electronic EP, and out of that came Never Enough, which is just us playing in the studio drunk. Okay, well, you're sober tonight, aren't you, Robert? Well, thanks a lot for the chat. We're here for to hear from the cure a bit later.